Welcome back, Roadrunner fans, to the Coach's Corner, Episode 5, brought to you by Village Cleaners. I'm your host, Chris Engesser, and we got a lot to cover as the boys are coming back after a long 10-game road trip. We're going to look back at those last few weeks of hockey, then we're going to look ahead to this upcoming weekend, and of course, get joined by the head coach, Josh Cameras. Now it's time to take a look back at the weeks that were in Roadrunner Nation. The runners hit the road way back in October as they struck out for Texas and the Lone Star Brahmas for a two-game series before completing the weekend that Sunday in Shreveport, Louisiana. It was a rough start to the trip for Topeka as they dropped all three games, mustering only one goal in each contest. The lone bright spot that weekend was the point they picked up in the standings in the second game as they pushed the Brahmas into overtime with a 1-1 score. Marcus Russell lit the lamp in that one, assisted by Peyton Franti and Andrew Hart. But it would not be enough as the Brahmas won it in a shootout 2-1. The runners would take a week off before returning to Lone Star for another two-game series on November 4th and 5th. The team rallied in Game 1 on the backs of Devon Fields, Alex Fry, and Marshall Bowery, who combined for three goals. That margin would hold up for the first win of the road trip at 3-2. On Saturday the 5th, Topeka was able to overcome a two-goal deficit with scores by Max Harper and Alex Fry to tie the game at two late in regulation. Unfortunately, Lone Star was able to punch it home for the victory at 3:36 in the extra frame. The runners split the series but came away with three more points in the South Division. After another week off, the runners flapped their wings to Wichita Falls for three games against the second place Wildcats. It was a wild series, with each game decided by a single goal. Though Topeka went on to lose the first and last game of the series, it was the second game that packed all of the fireworks. New roadrunner John DeRoche threw up a hat trick as the runners ran up a 6-2 lead heading into the third period. Jay Karen and Max Harper, Alex Fry and Marcus Russell combined with DeRoche to explode for the early lead, but the Wildcats roared back with five goals in the third period, coming within one score of the lead. Team captain Marshall Bowery put the nail in the coffin, though, to give Topeka a huge win. Another three points in the standings for the runners after that weekend, and it was on to Springfield. Illinois, as it turned out, ended up being a series too far for the good guys, as the Roadrunners fell 5-3 last Friday night and 4-1 on Saturday to end the 10-game swing 2-5-3, pushing the season record to 8-13-2, good for sixth place in the South Division, and only four points shy of a playoff position. Alex Fry had probably the best time out of town, posting five goals and two assists. Andrew Hart contributed four goals and four assists, and Marcus Russell added four goals and two assists of his own, with Peyton Franti racking up a staggering five assists on the road trip. Now the Roadrunners are going to be back in town this weekend against the Kenai River Brown Bears of the NHL Midwest Division. Roadrunners this Friday and Saturday night will open the doors at 6 p.m. and drop the puck at 7 o'clock. Now, Saturday night's the big one. It's our Military Appreciation Night, where we are offering discounted tickets for active duty, reserved, and retired military personnel. With a valid ID, you can get yourself $7 tickets for adults and $5 tickets for children on Saturday night. And of course, the Marine Corps will be here all weekend long with the Toys for Tots drive. Make sure to bring in a new unwrapped toy for a donation, or you can bring in cash as well. Help make a local Topeka family's Christmas brighter with the Marine Corps' Toys for Tots drive. We don't call it Coach's Corner for nothing. Earlier this week, we got a chance to sit down with the big man, the head coach, Josh Cameras. Coach, welcome back to the Coach's Corner. Good to be back, Chris. Uh, it's, it's been a while. It has been a long time, yeah, about a month and a half now. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's been a while since you guys have been back on home ice, and I know it's been nice to practice here uh, this last week. Uh, tell us about this long road trip. Yeah, that uh, it was good. We got out about a month and a half ago, like you said, and we got on. The, we've been on the road ever since. But it's good to get the team out and, and, and bonding and spend a time together. And we've really seen our group uh, grow as as a team and get to know the guys a little bit more. Spend some time at lunch and and you know it's a little bit more intimate on the bus. And you know with that you get to. Uh, you get to know the guys and then spend some time with them. So it's been good. Um, you know, the, the games have been, uh, you know, we've had our ups and downs, but, you know, we, our guys have worked hard and, and you know, we're, we're turning a corner, we feel. Now, uh, you know, just gonna, this kind of road trip that you go on, you end up going to a lot of places, spending a lot of time in different hotels. What was y'all's favorite, like, hotel destination on the road? Uh, going to Lone Star, Wichita Falls, Springfield, Shreveport? Uh, it depends who you ask. If you ask a coach, the hotel with the best internet. Um, sure. You know we gotta we gotta watch hockey and gotta make sure we're on it with that. But 
Uh, I don't have a favorite hotel. I, I like being at home in my own bed, so I, I don't have a favorite hotel. They're all no. the same to me. I'm sure Mrs. Cambridge is probably glad to have you back as well. Yes, yeah, she is. Uh, now, while you guys are away, uh, the team kind of uh, mixed around, changed it up a little bit. Uh, we've got a few additions to the roster. Uh, what can you tell us about uh, John DeRoche, Trevor Zenz, and uh, Emil Granso? Yeah, well, we'll start with Emil. Emil came in, um, you know, he was a guy who called us and, and wanted an opportunity to come in, and he's done really well. He's a hardworking goalie. He really pushes, uh, you know, our other two guys, Mike and, and Ryan, he pushes them in practice, and he's got an extremely hard work ethic and like to see that. Um, you know, he's actually a unique, um, unique situation because he's on the Danish national team, possibly, who he could be playing here in the uh, World Juniors coming up so you know hopefully he makes this earns a spot on that team and and you know plays against big big teams like team canada yeah, it's like we had hiko saka with the Japan, yeah, japanese yeah and, and, and emil if he makes that team would be in the, the a group in the world junior so he'd be playing against the top teams up there so that'd be a pretty pretty unique and, and cool experience for him um so we're wishing him the best and hopefully he makes that team um trevor zenz is a defenseman from cedar rapids who is committed to UMass Lowell. And, you know, Trevor's a, a very talented defenseman. He, he's got a lot of upside and he's got a good work ethic. And, you know, he's a, he's a younger guy, he's a 98. You know, he's got some time to develop. And we're really working with him on, on development and, and playing at this level. And he's been awesome. He's, he's got a good work ethic and we're extremely happy to have him here. And Johnny DeRoche, um, you know, came in right away. and. Uh, you know, all three guys really fit in well with the team, but Johnny DeRoche came in that one weekend and jumped right into games and um, yeah, got himself a hat trick. Right? Yeah, got a hat trick, his first junior hat trick of his career. Um, you know, he's got uh, he's got a really good skill set and he's got a good work ethic and seems to be fitting in with the guys. So we're excited to see all three of those guys progress and continue to. Uh, develop and, and you know they all got bright futures out of them for sure. Oh, absolutely. Now uh, you and the boys got to spend Thanksgiving at home before uh, jetting out to Springfield on Friday. Uh, how, how did you spend your holiday? What, what did you? I assume there's a lot of turkey involved. You know, not so much. I didn't. I didn't eat too much turkey. We went up to my uh, wife's sister's house and had a nice, nice little afternoon. And it was pretty, pretty mild. And you know, got to spend some time with the niece and nephew, and they're they're a blast. So. I really enjoyed it, and uh, you know our guys. I think we're, you know, we were excited that we were able to stay at home, and they got to spend that time with their billets or their families that came in. And for sure. you know, that's an important, important holiday, in, in my opinion. I think that's something that getting that time, and that to me, that's a a, a family holiday where you get to spend that with the, the family and, sure. and all that. So it's it's good, and we got on the road the next morning bright and early, so they didn't eat too much turkey. Right, right. So uh, what were you most thankful for as a coach this Thanksgiving? Uh, as a coach, I am most thankful for the group of guys that we have this year. Um, you know, I know we want to win more games. Obviously, that's the goal, and that's uh, that's what we're working towards. But I, I think every single day the work ethic that our group has brought has been it's been outstanding. You know, and, and I couldn't ask for a better group of young men uh, to be able to work with and help develop. They, uh, they make coming to the rink every day uh, fun. It's always something new. Uh, every single day I know that we, we've laughed, you know, we've, we've worked hard and, and we've all learned. You know, even as a coach, I'm learning every day. Um, you know, talking to these guys, they have so much to offer me and, and hopefully in return they're learning a lot from us. So been thankful for everyone that, uh, that's put on the jersey so far this year for us. And, and outside of the rink, I'm thankful for my family, you know, my for wife sure. and, and our three dogs and my brothers and, and mom and dad and stepdad. You know, the opportunities that, that we all get, we should be thankful for and not take for granted. Now, uh, you know, of these last 10 games, what, what, what was the most encouraging thing uh, that you saw on this trip? Uh, over the last 10 games, I think we've seen a lot. Um, you know, we've been in, in a lot of games. Uh, they've been close. I think one thing that we want to change is the shot count. Sure. We seem to be giving up way too many shots, and that's an area that we we've been working on. That you know, for for good, bad, or indifferent, uh, you know, it, it's happening. They're mm -hmm. they're getting shots. We're giving them up. So, um, you know, I think as a team, that's a team thing, and that's uh, we got to bear down, and we got to have the mindset that we're we're going to be better defensively, Just and we got to sacrifice that time of possession and all that. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's one way to do it is to have the puck. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't get scored on if you have it. So. Sure. Um, but defensively as a team, we got to sacrifice more and be more willing to 
to block shots and, and not let the pucks get through. So, um, you know, we've, we've learned that. We've learned a lot about ourselves and a lot of where we need to start heading towards as a team. And, and you know, we're trying to take the positive out of, out of, you know, the games that we've played over this long road trip. Mm -hmm. And it's certainly got to be a, you know, encouraging to know that you're going to basically be here in Topeka for the next couple of months. So, yep. I mean, you guys are going to have your feet other than next week, and I believe we're going on a, another very short two-game road trip. But, uh, yeah, being at home has is, is got to be helping a lot, at least looking forward to that. Yeah, it's always nice to be at home. We're able to work on stuff that, that you know, we see over the weekend. And, you know, we have the, the availability to do that here in our rink, and that's nice. And, um, you know, I think the guys really enjoy that. They love being out on the ice. and. The group we have, they love learning. You know, you got to hats off to them. They, they come to the rink every single day and they, they want more and they, they crave it. And that's something that, um, you know, you see each player has gotten better for sure up to this point. And that's, you know, that's what we're here to do is develop them as, as players and young men. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, looking ahead to this weekend, Kenai River is making that long voyage down here to Topeka uh, from the Midwest Division. Now, they're 416-2. They're and two. Uh, You look at that record and you think, okay, well, you know, this is a way to get healthy quick. Uh, but is this a team, uh, you know, just in, in what you've been able to see of them to this point, uh, just on video, is this a team that's indicative of their record, or is, are they actually a team that we can maybe could have, make some headway? No, in, in this league, every team's uh, they can win on any given night. And I think that, uh, you know, when you look at the South Division, especially, you know, the, the points races, it's pretty close. It's within six points, I believe, mm -hmm. from second to, to sixth in yep. our division or seventh. Yeah, division. we're only four, yeah. four spots out of fourth. So. Right. And, I think that uh, you know every team in the league, every division is is pretty similar in that regard. So, you know they won three in a row sure. against a really good team in Fairbanks up at up in Kenai, and you know we can't take them lightly. They're going to come in and they're they're big, they're physical, um, you know, and they're gonna they're gonna play hard for sure. So we got to be ready for that. And we got to at the end of the day, we got to play our game and we got to be consistent. Well, sure, coach. Well, hey, thank you very much. Good luck this weekend, thank you, Chris. And yep. we'll see you thank again you at the next Coach's Corner. Don't forget, Runner fans, you can be a part of the Roadrunners Coaches Corner brought to you by Village Cleaners by sending questions in the comments section below or heading over to Facebook and Twitter. Thanks again for joining us. We'll see you next week. Back in your head.